Here we have a few of the grease reservoirs available for ModjaFlow. I don't have every reservoir here today, but this is enough to give us a sample of, of the reservoirs we offer. First, this is a metal grease reservoir. The tube on this is a piece of steel instead of plastic. And with the plastic, you can see how low the grease level is, but obviously you can't see through steel. So one of the distinguishing features of the steel reservoir is this visual level indicator on top. There's a cable inside that attaches to the spring on that follower plate, and it gradually gets pulled down, pulling down the pin. So this, this is a completely empty reservoir, which is why the pin's at the bottom. If this was full, the pin would, the pin would be up here. This reservoir still has the little assembly here that receives a micro switch and a bracket, which is used as the electronic low level switch. One thing about this particular reservoir is this is actually not a ModjaFlow reservoir. This is for LubeMaster, and you can tell because there's no base on the bottom of this. The LubeMaster reservoir is partially the top of the pump. On the cylindrical reservoirs, we offer them in two different diameters. The most common one is what you see here, the six inch diameter, but there's also a four inch diameter. The four inch diameter will be around a foot tall, and those if it, has the, if it has this assembly on top and it's got a follower plate inside, then that's a five pound grease reservoir. If it has a flip cap like this tank here has, that flip cap is for the oil, so then that's a five pint oil reservoir. But on the six inch diameter reservoirs, we offer multiple sizes on these. And they typically are about one inch per pound or pint. So when we measure this, we can see this is a 20 inch tube, so it's a 20 pound grease reservoir. If there was a flip cap here instead of these assemblies, then it would be a 20 pint oil reservoir. This is another six pound, so it's about eight inches. If you measure one that's 13 inches, that's a 12 pound reservoir. Or again, a 12 pint for oil. When we talk about metal reservoirs for oil, we don't offer the cylindrical steel tubes. We make a tank for oil. Because there's no need for a follower plate, we don't need to make it round. So this oil tank here, this is one of the three sizes that we offer. This is the smallest, it's about a gallon and a half. And then we have three gallon and five gallon sizes, but they all have the same flip cap on top to fill it with. And they have brackets on each side for a variety of things. On this side, these two brackets are for the high pressure blowout assembly. And then this is actually for the block filters we have 10 and 25 micron block filters that you can get, they're high pressure filters, and they have two mounting holes that line up with these holes. So instead of having to mount it on the wall or somewhere else in line, you could just plumb your outlet from your pump right into the filter right here, and then run your oil out to the system without having to wall mount the filter. So it makes it more of a, a clean and tidy installed package. At the bottom of each reservoir, whether we're talking about the cylindrical, and we're talking about oil or grease, or we're talking about this tank, all the pumps have a hole at the bottom that has half inch thread. It's half inch NPSF thread, so it's a straight thread, but that thread is compatible with half inch NPT and half inch NPTF male fittings. So you can just put a fitting in this and basically use a module flow reservoir with any pump you want to, any pump that needs to be gravity fed. So whether you're talking about a big meter flow pump, you're talking about MSA, 10 or MSA 100, or even an MVB, or anything else that just needs a gravity feed, you can use this reservoir and just put a fitting on there. This reservoir has only two mounting holes, and these are the holes that receive the base plate manifold. Some reservoirs have four more holes here because they can be used with some other pumps. Let's take a look at that now. This is a ModjaFlow reservoir with an E-series pump on the bottom. There's no manifold in between. You can see here it just mounts directly. And there's four bolt holes here that mount that pump to this ModjaFlow reservoir. So again, even though the, the reservoir says ModjaFlow, and it really is a ModjaFlow reservoir, it's got the base and the, the whole cover, everything's complete. It's a ModjaFlow reservoir, but this is not a ModjaFlow pump. It's an E-series pump, which is sort of the little brother of ModjaFlow. It's the economy version. But you can also put a pH hand pump on here and there are a couple other pumps that use ModjaFlow reservoirs. So there you have a quick overview of the ModjaFlow reservoirs, some of their features, and how to identify them.